Hello, this is Vern, and on today's episode, I'm going to share with you why you keep falling for men who can't commit. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious and conscious women how you can attract the man and the relationship you want without the need for great gimmicks, <laughs> tricks, and manipulation of any kind. Now, if you've experienced putting in the time and connecting with a guy only to find out he cannot commit in the ninth inning or eighth inning when you've invested time, energy, family, the whole thing, or worse, sometimes you find yourself that you connect with a bunch of guys who can't commit from early on, then this video is for you. The first reason I found, believe it or not, is a feeling of intensity and validation they get from the connection they experience with a man that is stronger than their ability to make an objective decision about how to move forward. Let me give you an example. I've shared this in the past, but in case you haven't heard it, here it goes. Imagine you have not drank water for two weeks and somebody presents to you a bit of tap water that's tainted with a little bit of lead and maybe crap in it. You might still drink it because you're so thirsty. So if you've connected with men who validate your sense of beauty or experience a high level of intensity with someone, even if he can't go the distance, sometimes that feeling like a drug becomes the thing you go for without recognizing that three steps down the line, you're going to feel a lot of pain. So that's the first reason I've seen women experience this type of situation time and time again. The momentary connection they feel with a man, the chemistry they experience, the intensity they experience makes them put down their guard and stop seeing the clear signs and sometimes not so clear signs, but signs that the guy isn't there for the long haul, that he's not ready for it, that he's somewhat troubled or confused about where he's at in life. Second reason it is a lowered sense of self-worth where in your heart of hearts, you don't think you can get a type of man who steps up big time and can move the relationship forward and can proactively do things to get to that destination, which is long time, lifelong commitment. So if you feel like there's something wrong with you, if you feel like there's something that's maybe your past that's flawed with you, maybe it's part of your body, maybe it's a combination of things and this don't have to be real things. As long as you believe them to be true, they will be true for you. Then you will put up with lack of a better term shit from guys and you will put up with behaviors that are non-committal long term for the fear of being alone, for the fear of no one else wanting you the same way, for the fear of what if this is all there is. Third reason, sometimes the pain you've experienced in your life, whether it's from your parents, whether it's from you were bullied at school or both, allows you to have a feeling of comfort with the concept of rejection, right? Sometimes you experience rejection at a high level growing up and that becomes your place, that becomes your home. And when you connect with someone that ultimately won't want you, that wants you only so much and your subconscious mind picks up on this, your conscious minds sometimes don't, but if your subconscious mind picks up on this, you might choose them, not despite the fact that they're unavailable, but because they're unavailable. Another reason that I found that's very prevalent why lots of human beings connect with people who can't commit, partners who can't commit, is fear of intimacy. Here's the thing. It's a far lesser challenge to connect with someone who can't really abandon you because he wasn't in it in the first place full force than it is to connect with someone who can see you, love you, understand you, and then leave you. So long as you connect with a man who can't commit and you kind of know it, in your body, in your heart, you know there's something wrong. If he were to leave, he won't devastate you because you kind of knew it before it happened. And he's never going to call from you to step up into your most open and vulnerable self. Why? Because he doesn't want that type of relationship. He won't call it out of you. He won't expect it from you. And you'll have the safety of not having to show yourself at the highest level. That would be fear of intimacy as a reason why you keep connecting with non-committal men. You tell yourself sometimes that you want intimacy, but the actual 
experience of it. It's so scary that you keep choosing guys who can't give you that experience. Next one is an inability to express boundaries. Why? Because if you don't know how to say no, or if you're afraid that if you say no, the man will go away, then you won't express that boundary. Or you'll express a boundary that goes so strongly and forcefully that it might be overkill. So if you don't know how to express boundaries in a healthy way, then a little bit by little bit, the behaviors that you allow him to step into will be the ones that you don't want to experience. Maybe when he connects with you, he doesn't introduce you to his family and you think it's good at the beginning, but later on you feel there's something wrong with that, but you, you don't bring it up. Maybe he has this weird thing he does that you don't understand and he can't fully express, but you don't bring it up. Maybe he has this weird habit with his phone and every time you watch it, you have second thoughts, but again, it's uncomfortable to bring it up and about, so you don't bring it up and you end up finding a few months later down the road that this is a woman he was connecting with. So for all those reasons, the ability for you to learn how to express boundaries is fundamental in your ability to connect with someone who can commit because you can express what you want while it's happening instead of later down the road when it's too late. The next one is there's a deep desire in human beings, all of us at some level, to want that which we can't have. So at some level, the ability, you being with someone who won't do it, like that endless search, that uh, quest for conquering something, for maybe you're the woman that was smart enough, beautiful enough, wise enough, expressive enough, that turned him around from being a guy who can't commit to now one he can. That search, that desire to have that which you can have, which has existed for, from the beginning of time, is also part of the reason why it's hard sometimes to let go of human beings who can't commit. The last one that I'll share with you, and it's the last one for a reason, is lack of practical wisdom. Right? Because sometimes some people say, well, if I, knew, if I knew specifically what to say, I would say it. But sometimes you know what to say and you don't say it out of fear. So I've expressed a few psychological reasons first. The other one, which I, you can't avoid, is lack of not knowing how to connect with men how to talk with men, how to understand men, how to ask more for what you want. And that is lack of practical wisdom, which would be the last reason in this short video as to why sometimes it's so hard to stop falling for unavailable men. So if you find yourself in a situation where you say, man, this seems true and I keep falling for unavailable men, um, I'm gonna ask you to, on the first link in the description of this video, I've created a video training that shows you with a few simple steps how you can start turning this around. All you have to do is go to the first link, enter your name and email, and you'll be redirected to free training right away. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up. And last but not least, if you want help, accountability, hand-holding strategy from me directly helping you to get what you want, the second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work together. All you have to do is fill up an application and if we're a fit, we'll connect and share next steps with you. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a committed life.